we will now discuss uh, the role of all these essential micro and macro nutrients so role of micro and macro elements or nutrients so we will take all of these elements one by one and we will discuss it under certain heads like in which form are they absorbed by the plant then where are they essential why are they required by the plant and their deficiency symptoms that means if these elements are absent or in less amount then what kind of def deficiency symptoms are seen in case of plant so let us first start, start with nitrogen nitrogen is one of those essential elements it is required in macro quantity so it is a mac macro element now it is absorbed in three possible forms as nitrite nitrate and ammonium salts ammonium salts when we write these we write it as NO2, NO3 and this as NH4 salts. So this is how they are absorbed. So absorb as. So these are the most essential forms in which this nitrogen is absorbed. And towards the end of this chapter, we will also talk about nitrogen fixation. The second important thing is where or uh, we can write it as requirement where is it required so it is required in meristematic cells and metabolically active cells and metabolically Active. Those cells where these metabolic reactions are going on at a faster pace, nitrogen would be required. Now why is this nitrogen required? That means its role or functions. Nitrogen is important constituent of amino acids. So it is required for amino acid synthesis and because proteins are made up of amino acids, we can also say it is required for protein synthesis. It is essential that we understand the functions because if we know the functions, we will be able to pinpoint the deficiency symptoms very easily. Another important thing where this or uh, substances where these nit uh, the nitrogen is required. It is required for ATP production. In ATP, that is adenosine triphosphate, there is nitrogen base and nitrogen base definitely require this nitrogen. It is also required for nucleic acid synthesis. Nucleic acid that is DNA and RNA because they are made up of nucleotides and again nitrogen is very very essential for formation of these nucleic acids that is DNA and RNA. So now when we talk of the essential functions we say it is required for protein synthesis that is the final thing but why and where in protein proteins are made up of amino acid and for formation of amino acid because they have amino group nitrogen is essential. ATP synthesis is uh, it requires nitrogen now, where in ATP, that adenosine nitrogen base, similarly in nucleic acid. Then, nitrogen is also essential for chlorophyll molecule. Chlorophyll molecule is made up of magnesium in the middle and there are four porphyrin rings attached to it. Each ring has a nitrogen atom which is attached to that magnesium. So, if chlorophyll has to be synthesized nitrogen should be available now if we know these functions 
we can easily find out what would be the deficiency symptoms. Let us take the functions and understand what is going to happen if this particular function is not performed. If nitrogen is not available, protein synthesis will get affected. Or we can say that protein synthesis will decrease in its deficiency, in deficiency of nitrogen. And where is this protein required? This protein is the structural part. Plasma membrane is made up of proteins and phospholipids. So this protein that we are talking of is actually required for plasma membrane formation. It is also going to get converted into enzymes, hormones. So function wise we just say protein synthesis. But if nitrogen is less, what would be the deficiency symptom if protein synthesis decreases. So first symptom is if protein is less, less of plasma membrane would be formed. That means the growth of the plant will get affected. So we write it as stunted growth. <coughs> now how has that stunted growth resulted? It is due to less protein. So less nitrogen, less protein, less cell division because new plasma membrane or membrane mount structures are to be produced and that is why stunted growth. If enzymes, hormones are less, then metabolic activities are also going to decrease because these molecules or these substances are essential for those reactions. So metabolism decreases. And if metabolism decreases, all those processes, catabolic, anabolic processes will be slowed down and ultimately it would result into stunted growth. Now, if we talk of ATP production, that is the function where nitrogen is required. And if ATP is less, then all active processes will be slowed down because all active processes are ATP dependent. Nucleic acid, if no DNA, no RNA for cell division to take place, for plant's growth to take place, DNA should replicate and new membrane should be formed. So if no DNA, then again stunted growth. And if no RNA, then again protein synthesis will get affected and again it will result into stunted growth. So these are all related things. Chlorophyll molecule. If nitrogen is not there or absent or less, then chlorophyll production is less or chlorophyll gets destroyed. So this is known as chlorosis. And this chlorosis is predominantly seen in older leaves. Towards the end of uh, this particular segment, that means when we finish the roads of all macro and micro elements, we will talk about why certain symptoms are seen first in older leaves and why are some seen in new or younger leaves. That is because of mobilization. We'll take that up a little later. So here what we have to remember is Chlorosis, that is loss of chlorophyll, loss of chlorophyll takes place. And that is first seen in case of older leaves. If all these things are taking place, then one more symptom which is seen is flowering decreases. That means there are less flowers. If flowers are less, then automatically Fruits and seeds and all those things would be produced in less number, less quality and their size is also going to be uh, smaller or it will get affected. So nitrogen absorbed as nitrites, nitrates or ammonium salts. It is mainly required in meristematic cells where the new cells are being formed and in all metabolically active cells. Uh, the role which it performs is for protein synthesis and all those protein molecules, they are required for either plasma membrane production or as enzymes or as certain hormones. 
So these would help in all uh, metabolic activities. ATP is all an energy dependent one. Nucleic acids, both DNA, RNA, they have those nucleotides and chlorophyll molecule. And these are the main deficiency symptoms. So there would be stunted growth, chlorosis, which is predominant. And every time when we study these elements, this should be our pattern so that if we know the functions, interpretation of the deficiency symptoms becomes easier for us. So this is the first element. Now we will take the next one.